Okay, welcome back garden friends. Um, okay, so no filter here. Yard looks like a bomb exploded back here. Um, this is actually where the pool used to be. And this is where my new uh, greenhouse extension is coming along. I'm trying to lay this um, foundation. I was gonna do eight feet out, but well, originally 12, and it was, I thought that was too much. Then I'm gonna go, then I went back to eight. And now I'm just gonna go 10 actually. So, um, got the pool taken out. Well, I took the pool down and actually was able to sell it. <laughs> so, this is what's happening. I'm gonna kind of get a little back to my roots with this video with a little bit more citrus. Um, just an update. And let's look. I uh, made a, uh, it was kind of like a self harvest because I didn't. I forgot to kind of water one of these um, my red my finger lime and it dropped a bunch of fruits I mean there's I don't know how many fruits are in here but I gathered them all up and here they are so these are the red supposed to be the red flesh finger limes just got them all kind of like hanging out here and um, <clears throat> I'll just use these for something anyhow let's look at the citrus so i you know my tree trees had a pretty good harvest last year and so this year there's hardly anything i have had a lot of requests for fruit and seeds and stuff and i usually would send out fruit boxes and stuff but i <clears throat> um just don't have the fruit this year so this is my swingle section of my tree uh, oh, there's actually a fruit down there. I think that's a Thai try, which a lot of people have been kind of requesting. So I got to get that Thai try. And then <clears throat> I've got just a couple of yuzus up there. It's hard to tell because of the... And just a few, a really small amount of the glens, which is surprising. They usually produce a lot of fruit, the glens of tangerines. These are some... Um, Sudachis, which normally are picked a little bit before this, before they turn orange and used uh, while they're green. I just hadn't gotten around to it. Um, these are these are grapefruit, but down here is <clears throat> these are the cit Citramello times Changsha fruit. And um, these are the Clem times Tri, Clem times Tri times Clem fruit, and it did pretty well. Um, I don't have, looks like I don't have any I Changs this year. Oh, there's one over there, and we'll go around the other side. If you look up, up here, these are all the Ventura Lamandarins. Uh, I'll try to go on the other side so you can see it better. And I did have some tragedy, uh, which I'm gonna try to like either, I'll incorporate with this video, um, or post it first. I had, and I will go over there and show you, I'll show you what happened to the trees. So let me just kind of stop for one second. So this was the horrific incident that happened. My beautiful, beautiful um, honey changsha that was full. It was full. This whole section was full, as you could probably compare with the video uh, earlier videos. Uh, was hacked back by the dang um, landscaping crew that comes over here and kind of mows and stuff over here so they destroyed my tree and it really just threw me off and I, I didn't even want to deal with my citrus for um, these last few months that's why you haven't seen any updates because I was pretty heartbroken about it so not only that they hacked this part off of it and I really had been trying so hard to recover this tree from when it um, died back and I regrafted it you know, these people just don't understand 
the time and effort you put into some of these things because um, uh, it's not even a monetary thing it's just time mostly it's time because you you can't just buy another tree like this you have to graft it wait years and years you know so here I am <clears throat> I had backup grafts here there was a backup backup graft here that was totally destroyed they just cut it out I don't know even why no even understand why and I talked to the 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 lead guy so I don't understand why he even hacked into my yard and uh, it was just a big mess we had a really big discussion and <clears throat> he assured me it was not gonna happen again I don't know what anyway I just noticed this this is actually good news the other part of my backup is still here so it survived so this is my honey chang shot it was full of fruit after however many years that it took to recover and now there's absolutely nothing uh, this is a seedling yuzu which got looks like it has just two fruit we'll walk over um, I don't know if you followed me well right there is a ventura mandarin there's some here right here so if you follow me from uh, years ago the same thing happened with a branch of my ventura lamander and it was kind of hanging out here which yeah that that's kind of a problem so they cut that and now the tree is uh, kind of half of what it is but it's starting to recover so they hacked up a bunch of trees here too this is my setsuma my setsuma that was such an incredibly shy bear and this year guess what it was trying to hold fruit and the whole section here where the fruit was they hacked it off i mean just incredible incredibly bad, bad luck how this happened and also down here i had a backup of my um i chang lemon which was dying over there um i made a backup here just be so i would have a backup and guess what where they cut it they cut it below the graft so that's gone and guess what the actual i chang lemon <clears throat> that i had is dead so i have zero mature i chang lemon left i have i mean other than a graft i did of one from um it's a different i chang lemon that i source but this is the original one i had which has been really um hardy for me and the problem with this one is not the the cold tolerance of it it's the rootstock was dying so i have seedlings so you know guess what another <laughs> looks like i'm gonna have to wait another six years or so for the the seedlings to start fruiting and then i graft it out and so that's the problem. The problem is um, not only sometimes you get setbacks from weather, uh, but in my case, I had setbacks from dumb people. <laughs> All right, so here's the uh, rest of the Thai Tri. I mean, I can almost count them just by looking at them. There's hardly any, so, you know, a few will kind of use, uh, and then a few um, I'll have to process for seed and hopefully get those, those out for some people. There's some on the ground here, which I need to go ahead and um, collect before someone either makes off of them or an animal or something. Well, this this is a glen. That's something's eaten. So let's get rid. Of, not get rid. Let's go ahead and save these. I must. I'll come back for these. I'll put these right here for right now. Let's walk over to my other citrus. Here's a, a cool graft I did, which is kind of hanging in there. This is the um, rank per times Troyer. We'll see how this does this winter. I did another one down there, which, dang, if I can't remember what the graft was, I messed up and didn't label it right away. That's kind of the, that's kind of a tip, guys. If you graft something, make sure you label it right away. <clears throat> this one right here is, let's see. Sobo Kona, Kona Sobo Sobo Naka Kabasu. So this is, I think, this is a seedless Kabasu. That's a new one. And not only did they hack up my citrus, they hacked up all my pineapple guavas and my persimmon, which this stuff was not even in their way. But I don't know what they were just went buck wild. 
<clears throat> so I have a couple of bumper Sitsumas, um, the, uh, nam the, oh wow, there is a one Opinagami fruit right there. Look at that cutie guy. That cutie fruit right there. So that is a treasured fruit, which means something's probably going to eat it before I do. But, so I'll, <laughs> I'll probably go ahead and try to harvest that first. So no fruit on the Clemuse 2 2. I have a couple of Demicilli over there. Mm, I don't know if I have any Shaquashas. I thought I did. But um, fortunately, this tree was not really destroyed or touched. Um, so that's the extent of the in-ground citrus, I think. Um, let me just pause here and we'll pick up on the other side. All right, guys, so in the middle of all this, um, this junkin pile is a super duper special um, fruit. It's a shishi si -shi, uh, yuzu. Um, I mean, this is a yuzu, but I mean, I don't know if you can capture this, the scale, if I'm capturing the scale of this yuzu uh, fruit, it's gigantic. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'll do a taste testing on this and kind of open it. Um, but it's supposed to get a really gnarly, a really gnarly like um, brine to it, which it, this looks kind of like just a giant yuzu right right now. It's supposed to get real naughty and everything, but uh, I don't know. Maybe if the other, if I ever get some more fruits on it, we'll see. Yeah, just hang on one second. So just overall, um, my citrus trees don't look too great this year. I do have some look how bright orange these uh these are my uh, super hardy changsha which it's still you know if we, i don't know if you ever watched my other ones but i had this tree out um when we got super cold like close to three degrees or something just in the pot and it survived and i still have it sadly in the same pot i haven't repotted it or anything <laughs> but it's producing fruit here maybe i should go ahead and do a taste testing it is um a little a little late you should pick these like in early november ish or when, when they color up so that they have good flavor because if you wait too long they get kind of dry inside and um at least this variety well uh i we'll see how they taste but just chang shot in general um if they're overripe they get kind of dry and a little bit um insipid like almost flavorless so we'll see i'll get some of those um so we can try them out Oh, you know what? I think I just discovered something. This right here. Hey guys, this is a honey changsha that actually has fruit. I'm genuinely super excited about this because I I've been waiting so long to retest the honey changsha, which together we just discovered. I really I, I totally did not see this earlier that it had fruit. So this is. A super plus I'm super happy about this so we'll do a honey changsha um, taste test dang that's really cool uh, what else do we got here I mean that's the best <laughs> this is a La Mandarin backup and then I got what else we got here uh, just random stuff this is the um, that Aber's willow leaf citrus that is uh, desperate of feeding but here's the fruit it's like a sour orange but it's actually not sour it actually tastes pretty good so let's look at the other side of my in ground we're back to the in ground tree this is a um demicilli right here so and then there's just uh two so just two this year Oh, there's a f just a couple of um, shikwashas. So that is pretty much the state of the hardy citrus. Um, I do have some others I can't necessarily get to right now, but um, right, that's what's been going on. I've been working on the greenhouse expansion. I've been working on. 
kind of just getting through the the the, <laughs> the devastation of how my honey changsha was destroyed in ground but now that i just saw that, that i have some fruit i'm actually a little bit happier um it's getting dark so i think we're going to wrap it up for now um thank you guys who are like citrus enthusiasts for hanging in there i know i've been just posting a bunch of like other tropical fruit trees and unboxings of other things but um uh, i was really discouraged um when when that thing happened so um i'll try to post more vids of the citrus and some tastings um it's getting dark so i will talk to you soon all right thanks